a bad behavior. Meghan calls as senators directly to push for her nasty project, U.S. outraged. Meghan Markle has called two Republican senators on their private numbers and using her royal title to urge them to vote in favor of paid parental leave, it emerged on Wednesday, shocking the politicians with her latest foray into political activism. The move is just the beginning for the Los Angeles-born mother of two, as she is now hoping to be part of a working group to work on paid leave long term, according to Senator Kirsten Gillibrand. She called Republican Senators Susan Collins from Maine Shelley Moore Capito from West Virginia, both of whom said they were shocked that Markle called out of the blue and noted that she even used her royal title to lobby for the cause. And it comes after she wrote a letter to the top Democrats directly lobbying them on the issue, and then buying gift cards for Starbucks for workers at an activism group in a high-profile stunt designed to raise awareness of the cause. The Duchess of Sussex on October 28 wrote to House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer advocating for paid family leave, a letter that was handed out to several media outlets. On Wednesday Politico reported that she had, following a conversation with Kirsten Gillibrand, Senator for New York, taken her lobbying a step further and picked up the phone. Gillibrand, one of the most vocal campaigners in the Senate for paid parental leave, handed the Duchess the phone numbers for Susan Collins, Senator for Maine, and Shelley Moore Capito, Senator for West Virginia. Moore Capito, 67, told Politico, I'm in my car. I am driving. It says caller ID blocked. She said she expected the call to be Joe Manchin, the other Senator for West Virginia. Manchin, a moderate Democrat, has been calling the shots for Joe Biden's infrastructure bill, wringing concessions from progressives and cajoling moderate Republicans like Moore Capito to agree. Honestly, I thought it was Senator Manchin, said Moore Capito. His calls come in blocked. And she goes Senator Capito? I said, yes. She said, this is Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex. Moore Capito added, I couldn't figure out how she got my number. Collins said she too was called by the 40-year-old. She expressed amusement that the Los Angeles-born Markle was using her British title to lobby U.S. senators, after having quit the royal family in 2020. Much to my surprise, she called me on my private line and introduced herself as the Duchess of Sussex, which is kind of ironic said Collins. She told Politico, I was happy to talk with her, but I'm more interested in what people from Maine are telling me about paid leave. Collins later told the New York Times, she just weighed in that she thought paid leave was really important, and I told her there were a lot of different approaches, and people were working on it. Biden had initially hoped to push through plans for a 12-week paid family and medical leave program, costing $500 billion over 10 years. The benefit declined from 12 to 4 weeks, as the legislation shrank to less than $2 trillion from $3.5 trillion to win agreement from Manchin and fellow moderate Democrat Kirsten Sinema. Gillibrand said on Wednesday that she gave senators numbers to Markle, and said it was just the start. I talked to each of the women senators and let them know that she's going to reach out, because she only completed two of the calls, Gillibrand said. She's going to call some others, so I let them know in advance. Markle's latest intervention heightens speculation that she sees herself in a political position in the future, like her heroines Angelina Jolie and Amal Clooney. Democrats dropped the provision from the package last week after Manchin raised objections, saying the budget reconciliation bill should not be used to pass a proposal such as paid leave. Following the Democrats' surprise move to add the provision back to the package on Wednesday, Manchin said he still opposes the proposal. Manchin